Hello everybody, we are back here on Call of the Wild, the Angler. This should be the second video of the day because we're going to be covering the bottom fishing that was added. This is honestly really awesome to see. They finally have bottom fishing into the game and there's a variety of stuff that you can use. So to start a uh, bottom fishing rig, let's just take ours away real quick. You're going to want to go to an empty slot, go ahead and do this right here. First of all, make sure you've purchased a feeder rod from the uh, actual shop as well as you know, whatever spinning reel you want to have with it. We're going to go with the Pure Champion as it is the best spinning reel that you can get without being level 90. And then we're going to go ahead and put on some 44 pound braid as well as a sinker. I bought the iron one and brought that with me. There's three different sinker types. I don't think there's any difference between them as of now. Uh, put the hook on and then of course you can select from some brand new baits. We've got artificial corn yellow. We've got the natural boilies. Um, I don't have the rest of them with me. We're going to be using the natural boilies just to see if we can catch some carp on them as I think that would be quite cool. So let's go ahead and uh, cast out here at the carp hotspot in the north of the map. We're up at this spot right here. Just zoom in as much as I can. We're kind of fishing in this deep hole right here. It's been known to be a pretty good spot to get giant carp. And as we cast out, we see that it is uh, sinking down in the bottom right. It shows you the depth and how far you've uh, got the sinker to sink. And it kind of tells you whether or not it's on the drop or not. So that's a, a nice little UI addition right there to help with the bottom fishing. And that sinks really quickly. You also heard that the second it hit the bottom, our guy closed the bail of the reel, which is pretty cool. Another nice little feature of this is if you press F to zoom in, It'll go straight to the tip of the rod so you can watch the tip and wait for a bite to happen. Now, obviously, I am expecting this to not be quite as an exciting and interacting fishing method as uh, spin fishing or float fishing. But I hope one of these days we get some type of thing to make it be a little bit more exciting, like potentially like rod holders or maybe something for like boat rod holders or something. I'd love to see something like that so that we can... Uh, be bottom fishing while also uh, casting a spinner out or something like that. I'd really like to see that, so I hope they do that in the future. But for now, we've got bottom fishing, and that is a great step in the right direction. Something else that I noticed with this update is that a lot of fish now have the bottom lurker trait that didn't used to have it. Like, there's a lot of fish that will be primarily on the bottom of the lakes and the rivers and stuff, so things like the carp and uh, a few other species as well. We'll go over some more of those in the future as we fish for them. Um, we're going to be doing a live stream tonight for Tackle Tuesday, which is a tournament that Brober holds every single week amongst uh, a few of us in the community. And we're going to be fishing for Tench, which will require bottom fishing as far as I understand. So it's going to be quite interesting. Be sure to stop by that stream if you guys are interested. One eternity later. Oh, no, I... Oh my gosh, I've been literally fishing for so long and I screw up on the first strike. I saw I saw the tip of the rod go down and I forgot that I got to wait till the indicator happens on the uh, on the actual tension meter. Man, all that time just to miss the strike. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. It's playing with it. Oh, there we go again. And there we go, our first fish on the bottom fishing technique. And I think it might actually be a somewhat sizable one as well. It completely put us to a halt for a second, and this is the brand new 44 pound feeder rod, which we will be taking a look at soon. I probably should have put that at the beginning of this video, but I didn't think of it. Because there is a whole bunch of new tackle, not just the uh, new baits, but also a bunch of new feeder rods. And we are using the uh, best of the best that you can possibly buy for those feeder rods right now. And it's doing quite well. It is absolutely doing quite well handling these big old carp. Let's we'll see if we can get this thing reeled in. I can't believe it. We finally caught our first fish on the bottom fishing technique. And it's going to be most likely a mirror carp. It could be a common carp as well, I suppose, but... I think it's likely a mirror carp as we are at the mirror carp hotspot. Let's go ahead and secure the catch if we can. And what do we got here? It is a common carp. Okay. 18 pound common carp. One minute fight on the uh, brand new bottom fishing tackle. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. And uh, I got to say this little DLC outfit right here looking pretty fire. 
I remember we saw some of this in one of the EW streams and we thought that it would be coming with the update of uh, Spain being added to the game, but in, it actually turned out that it was DLC that was going to be released later. So there it is looking pretty good. There we go. Got another one going for it. Question is, will this guy be as good as the last one or will he be better? I'm hoping better. That is definitely better. Definitely better. Yeah, we got ourselves a much nicer fish this time around. If this is a mirror carp, it could be a pretty good one. We're going to hope that it's a mirror carp. That would be amazing. This fish is definitely fighting a lot harder. Let's see what it is. That looks like a mirror carp to me. I think that is a mirror carp. So let's try to get this guy up here. It definitely seems to be a mirror carp from what I can see up here. Although I could be wrong. I definitely could be wrong. And there he goes again, running away once again. Ah, uh, maybe I am wrong. That might be a common. Honestly, I don't even know. Let's just get him up here and take a look at him up close. Yeah, it's a common. It's a 29 pound silver common that took two, two minutes and 38 seconds. Unfortunately, man, all that work for a silver common. So before we get any further into this video, let's take a look at all of the different feeder rods that were added. They have added a lot of them. Anywhere from a max line strength of 6 pounds to 13 to 22, 33, and eventually 44 being the best one that you can get. You unlock this at level 25 and you can purchase it for 8,000 credits, which is not bad at all. I think that's a pretty good level to get it at as well as a decent price for it. And it seems like pretty much every five levels you can buy a new feeder rod. I do like that little uh, setup right there. Another thing they did was make some of the uh, stuff that you could only get via level purchasable if you have that required level. So if you've unlocked the level 100 rod, you can purchase multiple of them now. And the same goes for the level 90 reel. You can purchase as many of them as you want once you've unlocked them at level 90. And the same goes for any other like level unlockable item in the game, like this two-aught spinner right here that you get for, I think it's like level 40. Yeah, level 40. You can purchase as many of those as you want as well. So if you uh, miss out on it because of the uh, level system being swapped over and having already been above level 40, then you can go back and purchase it right here. And then we head over to the baits. You click the bottom baits tab and you have all of the brand new ones. Let's uh, buy the last remaining of Boilies right there since we've used a couple of them. We've got uh, the Boilies Natural. We've got the Imitation Dog Biscuit. We've got the Wafters White. We've got Dog Biscuits. We've got regular pellets. We've got corn and we have Artificial Corn Yellow. So a variety of new baits to go on your bottom fishing adventures with. Then we see this new tab over here. It says sinkers. You can go with an iron one, a lead free or a stone. It really doesn't matter which one you go with. They're all pretty much the same from what I've seen. And that is all of the brand new stuff that is related to bottom fishing. However, we do have something in the local souvenirs as well. You've got all of these different items right here. The Molina Marchers, the Aguas Claras Regalia. You got the Capote of El Matador which is actually a pretty cool item. It says, I caught El Matador, and all I got was this lousy shirt. That is an amazing shirt. I'm definitely going to be using that, I think. I'm going to save my legendary tokens, though, because I will probably go for some other stuff first. Like, this looks really good right here. This uh, vehicle, there's also a special rod right here, which is a feeder rod. Oh, my gosh. That, okay, I am working towards that right there. A 66 pound feeder rod is crazy. We're working towards this 100%. We got to get 250 more reputation and one more diamond token and we'll be able to buy it. That is going to be our new goal here on the angler. We got to get this right here. They've also got a lot of other cool stuff though. They've got some different uh, outfits, some different clothing, different shoes. We've got uh, more clothing. We got some more hats. We got the two vehicles there. We got another vehicle here. There's a lot of cool stuff in the souvenir shop for uh, Aguas Claras. Ooh, there we go. We got a fish on. Let's see what we have this time. I don't think this one is going to be very big. In fact, it's not fighting that hard at all. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's just reel this guy in and uh, try to get another fish. I really want to get at least a gold today. That is going to be the goal. And there we go. There is our third fish of the day, a 20 pound common carp. Man, we are getting all the common carp today and none of the mirror carp, unfortunately. I was hoping to get more mirror carp than this, but it is what it is. Ooh, here we go. And there we go. Another fish is on. 
This one putting up about the same amount of tension as the last, going to assume this is another 20 pound common carp. There we go, another common carp as I can see down there. Unfortunately, it is not a, a big gold mirror or anything cool like that. It's just a, a silver common carp as we've seen a lot of these at this point. Oh, there we go. Another fish is biting. Let's see if this ends up being a, j oh, well oh, that is way better. At least I, I thought it was, it was pulling out line when before we were able to set the hook. Oh, yeah, it's pulling out a little. I doubt it's gonna be a giant, but it might be another big like 30 pounds silver. Hopefully it's a mirror carp, because if it's a mirror carp, it'll at least be decent. You know, now that I think of it, I feel like the reason a lot of these fights are seeming longer than normal is because we're no longer using the float setup where we can cast just like a couple feet in front of us and hook into a carp. Now we actually have to cast and let it sink all the way down. So we're fighting the fish for a lot longer because of that. And I think this is our first mirror carp of the day. This actually could be a good one. And that is definitely a gold. Yeah, 39 pounds. Wow. Okay, that is the highlight of the day easily. Look at that giant fish right there. 39 pound gold mirror carp. That is a really awesome thing to see. You know, the more I think about it, I actually do not have much more time to get this video uploaded. So we're going to go ahead and leave it at that. Kind of exit on a high note as we got that giant gold carp. Thank you all so much for dropping in to watch this video. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as well as commenting on the video and also hitting that like button before you go. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.